<laughs> Someone sent this to me on Twitter. So I had to go ahead and do it. Hello, everybody. Grace to please. And we're back with more My Summer NASCAR. So it appears as if, though, there is a brand new buyable item. We must have it for a collection of things. And I will install it. Just like I installed those extra springs from a million years ago. Yes, they're still laying somewhere. I feel like they're somewhere in the garage. I'm not 100% sure where they are. But as there is a brand new racing carburetor, I absolutely must have it. Our fishing trap will continue to potentially do nothing. Let's check it out. Oh, fishing trap, how are you doing? You're doing absolutely glorious. And by glorious, I mean you haven't done crap for me. But that's not a big deal. Because the last time... Oh, hold on over here. Let me turn off finish super strength. Okay, now. Before all sorts of unholiness begins happening, it's going to be like some sort of evil dead five. We've got pizzas. We've got macaroons. We've got plenty of milk. And really, what else do you need in life? This should be good for the most part. Gonna cure our hunger and thirst. Oh, oh wow. Stop by the freaking house. How do you like that? Protecting Mother Nature from Gray's wrath. It actually sounds pretty legit. Supposedly, you can uh, get clean by swimming. I have no idea how long this takes. I have done some serious freaking waiting in this water. And I'll be damned if I ever saw that dirtiness meter move. Now, the other thing that has been said, I think it's by the boy Rocker, is that if you toss down the cursey button, your stress level goes down. Let us try. Yes. It was also mentioned that the more R, the more you roll the R, like totally goes. What did someone say? Like it, it's equivalent to the amount of salt in your voice. So I guess percolate by itself is just like, oh man, but percolate is like, oh no! Oh! Is this is the stress meter go? It is, like. Like, just barely. It just barely goes down. For a second there, I thought it was one of those things where you had to, like, look at it cross-eyed. You know, one of, you know those paintings where they're like, oh, you can see a dolphin jumping through a circus hoop while smoking methamphetamine. And you're like, I don't see it. And people are like, no, you just have to cross your eyes and dot your T's and stuff. And then it, you'll, you'll see it just a little bit. Yeah, lean back. Lean back a little bit further. I was, I, I don't know. You guys are going to have to let me know in the comments. I could... Were you ever able to see that stuff? I was one of those people. I never saw it. My whole life. And I don't know if people were trolling me or not. But they would be like, no, yeah, yeah. Just, you got to get closer or get further. It'll happen. It never freaking happened. Sometimes people are like, great. Why don't you just teleport around? Why do you have to ride the boat? Why do you have to ride the car? You could just fly from place to place. I know. But, you know, half of the crazy crap that ends up happening to me in this game is just me going from point A to point B. I feel like I would miss out on a lot of randomness if I didn't take the path more travel. If I didn't travel back and forth, I would have never finally seen the great Finnish beast. It took forever. It was like, I don't even know, man. It was like 70 episodes or something before I finally saw that damn thing. But we we saw it, you know? It just, it took forever. But eventually our diligence was rewarded, okay? All of our hard work, our time and effort, all to see the great creature from beyond. And then one day it showed up and almost freaking killed me. And then it showed up and it almost freaking killed me again. It's like every time I see the thing, it's almost running into my freaking car. Did I drive this boat on the wrong side? I better not have driven this boat on the wrong side or I'm gonna be freaking pissed. I could, it's been a while, man. I could have sworn our house was over on this side, but I don't like the looks of this. I, I remember the house. 
Like, I, I remember what it looks like as we draw up to the house, and I'm pretty sure it didn't look like this. After some pirate-style observation, I found we're fine. I just, I almost went past it, actually. The little, the little area thingadoo that we have to get onto to get to our place. Man, my thirst is freaking climbing like crazy. The area that we have to get to is over on this side. I think that it should be right up here. Exploration is half the fun. That's what I keep telling myself as I fight back the tears of sadness. We found it. Took a little bit longer than I had previously anticipated. Sun's pretty far down now, not gonna lie. But we're gonna be just fine. Let's go ahead and nuzzle our shaft right over here. Turn off yonder thing. Jump on, wow, that was probably the best parking job I think I've ever done. And over to the house, we have the tanker over here so we can do with our car. Well, somehow the tanker ended up on its side. No big deal though, we should be able to take care of this with a little bit of our great and glorious power. Oh crap, my thirst is getting kind of high. Uh, well that's sad. What in the hell is going on over here? You know what to do, tanker! You know what to do! Do some flips and stuff, come on! Roll over, do as you do. I don't have time for this crap. I'm dying of thirst. I'm dying of friggin' thirst, come on man. Come on, turn over, turn over, for real? You're gonna play this game with me? All right, the tanker can suck on my wiener at the moment. We've gotta grab something to drink. If I die of thirst right now, I'm gonna be really, really sad. Like, the kind of, I wonder if this, all right. I was gonna say, I wonder if this house will ever open this little outbuilding over here. I imagine eventually it will. The developer's pretty strong on putting things into the game. I think we're gonna be drinking tap water, boys. Because I want anything I can get so that I don't die. Oh, there's the boom box that I left outside for the uh, the police. We could have also headbutted those beers over there. Let's, oh, come here. Get, come here, delicious beer. Oh, thank you, God. We're going to have to bring our gas can with us as well. Oh, so close. Oh, you know what else we can do while we're here is get a glorious shower. Might as well put some beer in the shower, too. Shower ain't correct without some beers laying down in there. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. The old dirtiness meter was getting way out of hand, man. Look at that red line of death. It has traveled far past the bicep, straight to the heart. We would be dead by now for sure. We're getting hit by the water, right? Like, I'm in the hitbox of the water. Okay, good. So for extra efficiency, we're going to sit in here and curse while we, uh, while we get clean. This way we can take care of some stress. We could take care of some dirtiness. See, we're getting everything done all at once. I'm genuinely curious because I've never tried this. Can you fill this bucket up with kill you and then use it? Please let it happen. Ah, oh, come on. I wanted to fill it up with kill you and then use it inside of the sauna. Now that would have been an appropriate finish sauna experience. Ooh, 7,200 and 50 marks holy god all right well you know what else are we spending our money on i guess getting kind of late but we can sleep inside of the tanker if we really need to it's not a big deal i just want to get all the items in here now do we have a tool set in here i feel like we don't have a tool set in here we're probably gonna have to go grab our tools back over at the house we can sleep inside of here as well during the night i want to get my parts Tool set, check. I'll take it, good enough for me. Lots of people are continuing to feel the fury and the sadness of my summer card. You know what I call that? Battered gray syndrome. That's what you have, basically. You've played my summer car and it has made you want to fold a Frisbee in half and eat it. I know, I get where you're coming from. I feel it all the time. I will say, if you coat the frisbee in ice cream, it does tend to go down a little bit easier. Someone sent me a picture too. It was the picture of a guy stopping a spinning chainsaw blade with his genitals. I told you, I told you it was real. That's, that's legit. That stuff happens all the time. That's how it goes in the world today. People don't, you gotta understand, people don't make normal mistakes anymore. It's not like someone who buys a lawnmower and they're like, you know what? I want to change my own blades. I want to sharpen my blades. I'll know. I'll use one hand to hold the blade in place while I use my tool to try and turn the nut on the blade to pull it off. You know, I, I would almost 
I would almost feel okay with that. If someone did that, and I, I'd be like, you know what? Sure. Maybe they didn't realize how sharp the blades really are. They cut themselves. But nowadays, people are like, you know, you know what would suck? I, I, I work with my hands all day doing tech support. I, that would be terrible if I cut my hand. So I think I'm going to use my penis. I think that's the idea here. I'm going to see if I can use the, the widest part of the shaft and we'll grab, we'll grab the blade with that. That should stop it. That'll keep my hands nice and fresh too. If something were to go wrong, my precious hands would be fine. You don't want to damage your wiener beaters after all. You don't want to damage the money makers. How are you doing, sir? Driving normally today? Excellent. No scumbags on the road, I see. You know, it's getting kind of late. We may see the great beast. I hope that eventually it does hit my vehicle. If it was going to hit something, I would prefer it to hit this. Because I have a feeling if it hits this, we are going to be just fine. Unless, like, something goes awkward with the physics and it launches me into space. That's a 50-50 possibility. I'm not going to lie. It is totally possible that either one of those things could happen. Either it will die or it will launch us into orbit. I usually get someone talking about the oil in this thing too. Ah, uh, you can't change the oil in this. At least not yet. Maybe one day. It'd be cool. Even if we can't take these cars completely apart. I know that's not coming. But just being able to service them. Maybe put some oil in it. Maybe put some uh, some fluids in it or something like that. That would be okay. I'd be fine with that. A little coolant or whatever have you. Alrighty. Alrighty. There we are. Let's go ahead and turn her off. We got to hook the beast up over here. New skin, by the way. New skin. Looks pretty legit, too. You ready? Here we go. Gray still slays. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That's what I'm talking about. Man, I got to tell you. Looks pretty delicious. Looks pretty gory. Don't you guys worry. I've got that fender right there. We're going to put that right on. Ah, look, a couple of dents and dings in it. That's probably from when it got moved. What does it say? Cutting you off isn't the crap. I can't read the rest because the friggin' spoiler's in the way. Damn it, spoiler. How about if I lift it up or something? No, there's, there's no way around this. Oh, I left a case of beer inside. Well, lucky me. That's fantastic. I think I'm going to have a couple of beers before we head on out of here. Oh, wow. I was thinking ahead, man. I've got like 10 cases of beer in there. Fantastic. We're set to go. I don't have to go home now. Oh. No one's going to kill me, right? None of you? Okay, good. I was just making sure that there's no one rocketing around the friggin' corner trying to take old Gray out. Now, we want this thing ass to ass as close as possible. This way, there's little wiggle room. All right, because wiggle room is the devil in this friggin' game. Where's the tow hook? Come here, tow hook. All right. Tow rope. Tow hook. Good to go. Oh, another car. Another car. You're not a scumbag, are you? What, what happened? What in the holy hell happened over here? Okay, I didn't do this. What happened to this guy? What happened? Okay. I feel like this is foolish of me to go this way and check things out. Did you hit? Did you hit the finished beast? Did you hit it? Is that is that what caused this to happen? He had to have hit something. All this damage didn't come from nowhere. All right, man. I don't know. I haven't seen anything. Maybe he tripped over the beer case. That would be awkward. Now he's really screwed, though. He can't. He can't even get out. He can't even get out. Oh, never mind. He got out. Now he's going to slam into my freaking car. Oh, he went around me. Thank you, good sir. You're not a jack wagon. He's still just hanging out in the middle of the road. This is really weird. Like, his car got massacred. And now he... What the hell? What was that? What was that? Is he blinding me with his lights? Oh, shit. Okay. Whoop. That was almost super bad, but we saved it. Everything's fine. Yeah, look at him. It's like he wants to pass us or something. Is this is this some kind of new driver on the map that, like, he exists to be a pain in the ass and just nail you with his high beams or something? Of course, I'm one to talk. I've got my high beams on. I'm freaking blinding, burning out corneas. There have you. There everyone that I come across. Hey, peen bag. My freaking grandmother drives faster than you. Get a move on the hell out of the way i'm gonna beat you in this damn tanker if the tanker drives faster than you here right there 
Brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
appalling. I would never do such a thing. All right, that's fine. That's fine. I'm just saying. Sometimes it probably happens. Let's take care of the stress -o meter So for double the stress reduction and double your fun, I guess you can curse while sitting inside of the sauna, and it should go down twice as fast, right? There we go. Ah. Don't worry, I didn't even smoke that cigarette. It's bad for you. But what I did do was curse and sit in the sauna. I also just changed the, uh, I just changed the field of view a little bit. Let me know what you think. I, I, a lot of people were saying that the field of view is too, like when they take a cigarette out, the hand is way too close. So I went ahead and put it at like 70 instead of 65. That's like barely a change, but it should account for something. Topless gun boys, now on weekdays. I'm so happy. I'm so happy that they didn't cancel this show. That would be a freaking travesty. I gotta tell you, what they need is, what we need is we need a YouTube channel where it's just topless gun, just this show, 24 seven streaming. I think that's a good idea. I think that that's how you become famous on YouTube. If you want, if you want my opinion. Mega channel, this video right here, 24-7 streaming. It's, it's got to work, right? Is that against the terms of service or something? I don't stream. I have no idea. Oh, what the hell? The phone's ringing. What's the phone ringing at this time of the day and or night? Hello? 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 What? Crazy Finnish guy? Crazy axe murderer man, he's back? What the hell is this? Oh my god, when the update came, it reset the friggin' quest line. Do we have to steal his stuff all over again? No! I went through all that work! I'm not doing that again! Unless there's like a new quest line, that would actually be pretty cool if there was like a new quest line or something. This is odd. Many days have passed. My phone is definitely plugged in. Many days have passed, and we still don't have anything from Tamo about our new freaking carburetor. I want my carburetor so we can install it. And then we can have the fastest and the most powerful freaking Gray Still Slays mobile that ever was. But I need a phone call first, man. How long does it take to get the part? Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode of My Summer Card. Until the next time, folks. Stay foxy and much love. <laughs>